in the back of your throat. Pull you apart. On September 11th, eight years old in the belly button of Appalachia, you watch bodies jump from the windows of falling buildings. At home, you ask your mother how low planes can fly. You build a tent in the backyard and sleep outside for a week. Planes fly into buildings. Already, you know that it is far safer out there with the bobcats and the bears than in here with windows and people. You, who have peeled back your own skin in search of a map in your veins, you are a failed secret agent, writing your identity over and over on fortune cookie papers, filling your pockets, pulling them out of ears, slipping them in with each handshake. Your body is a country newly formed by the collision of tectonic plates built in the history of asylums, of hysteria. Your body is the anxious country where nationalism is a foreign concept, where the primary marker of citizenship is a permanent sense that you do not belong, a fish hook in the back of your throat. Your body. In the anxious country, you speak only from the gut, from fear. Fear is a language without translation. No poem will suffice for this moment on stage where you are a pilgrim looking to overcome the language of your birth, bringing offerings of your own body parts rendered into inadequate metaphor, your tongue, a beached whale on the cracked shore of your lips, your heart smatterings of rain on a tin roof, your throat a mudslide. This is your body. Although you did not know it, you arrived in your own country long ago by plane, a small one, jumping its way over the sea in your veins. Your veins are a map of the anxious country, your blood, your mother's blood. This is citizenship. This is your home.